In this program, we're going to learn about velocity. Velocity is the rate and direction of the change in the position of an object. Velocity is often confused with speed, and while the two concepts are similar, there is one great distinction between them. Velocity is a vector quantity. Vectors use a numerical value and a direction. For example, these cyclists are moving at approximately 21 miles per hour north. Speed is a scalar quantity. Scalars describe motion with a numerical value. For example, a high-speed train can reach speeds of 320 kilometers per hour. Speed only accounts for how fast an object is traveling at one specific time. Speed does not tell us the direction of the object, nor can we assume that the speed of the object is consistent. Velocity tells us the story of an object, where it was before, where it is now, and how fast it is traveling. It's important to note that velocity can change. A change in velocity is known as acceleration. If an object begins to move by slowing down, speeding up, or coming to a standstill, it can be described as accelerating. The direction of acceleration affects the velocity of an object. If the direction and velocity is in the same direction, the object moves faster. In this case, acceleration increases velocity. When an object slows down, the acceleration is in the opposite direction of the velocity. So when the brakeman applies the brake on a cable car, it slows down. In this case, the acceleration decreases the velocity. Velocity is an important part of physics. It helps us to describe the magnitude and direction of objects as they move through space. Now that you better understand velocity, think about this. How can a tennis player control the velocity of his serve? Think about it.